Hello guys, this is my post-fight review moment depth analysis of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, third, you know, number three for the rematch. Saturday's fight, what a fight, man, what a fight. Non-stop world calls from round one to round 11. It's a non-stop thrill ride. Edge is here to tame, pure, pure thrill ride. Round one, definitely, I Miller mean, Scott has definitely improved it, and Wilder's tactics passed slightly by, you know, focusing on the jaw and trying to, you know, aim for the body. Round one was Wilder Smart was um, Wilder's round. The rest, you know, round two, you know, Tyson got more comfortable, more in his groove, and you know, round three, you know, he got um Fury knocked Wilder down in the third round. Luckily Wilder got up, you know. Round four, unbelievable. I was shocked. I was like, what the fuck? You know, Fury got knocked down twice by Wilder. First first one was more about balance, I don't think it was that hurt, but Fury was the second round, second knockdown more concussive, and he got saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. It's a King Ray Supreme from the Great Light Undertaker. And from round five, round one just did one minute, one man demolition job. While it was out of steam, especially for round five, man, it was out of steam. Probably even as early as round three, he was just out of steam. Round seven, I thought it was going to end in round seven because he was just a total takeover. Round ten, he got knocked out again, rounded by Fury. And round eleven, you know, he's a stupid kid that's knocked him out once and for all. You know, becoming champion of the world again and you know being a I could be free you know definitely third time first strike you out three zero the first fight you know you won you got robbed by the judges you won round two conclusive complete demolition job one you know around three with a knockout for the ages Jitsu King is our power absolute power to me right only one two rounds round four we knocked Tyson down twice and round one when he got him out of job, pretty much from that, we just can. This shows how good Fury is because Fury was definitely in the best shape, probably 60%, you know, at his best, you know, because he had the issues with, you know, with his personal life for 20 months, almost two out the ring, issues with his mom and daughter. This is how amazing how 60%, you know, Fury beat up, you know, and more motivated, more, you know, focused, wilder. And just, you know, shows how good talent is. I don't care what anyone says. He's the best head of it since Lance Lewis. And I think he possibly could have beat Lance Lewis. And he's that good of a talent. I think Tyson could have could beat in any era from the 70s. I think he could have could beat with Ali, um, Jimmy Young, you know, George Foreman, Joel Frazier, Ken Norton, Lynn Spink. He's that good. He's generation talent, you know, all-time great, Hall of Famer, top 10, best head of, of all time. He's that good. What does Wilder do from now? I think you should fight White. You go for you know, the, you know, definitely fight, you know, Andre Ruiz, that'd be a good money maker. Find out who's the best heavyweight, if I was an American best heavyweight. Fight, you know, they're still interested in, you know, fighting AJ, you know, I mean, Joshua, they're still, you know, you could fight, you know, Joy Joyce, you could fight, you know, Joseph Park, he wants to, you could fight. There's plenty of fights. I don't think you should retire. I think you should just at least, you know, go out and win, you know, fight Andre Ruiz, and then if he wants to retire after that. Hopefully Tyson fights, you know, Daniel White, if White, you know, beats in the auto roller, which is no tough, you know, no easy job. Definitely, one's got talent, but I think, you know, White is just to, just to better fight slightly. And I think, you know, White will stop him late or win on points. And hopefully, you know, Tyson beats AJ, and you know, if Tyson beats, you know, Fury fights White in the spring, and also AJ will fight UC to rematch, and hopefully, you know, AJ pulls, pulls out a miracle. And you know, beats Usyk, and we finally get the fight we we're waiting for for this years. Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua on the speed title or British, you know, clash showdown for the best of the era. Man, 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 it's a heavyweight, best heavyweight, that heavyweight man, clash of the titans, man. That heavyweight Fury and Wilder went at it, best for last, seven best for life. Three, it's a crazy three nil, and we still got a, f- a really good third fight. Definitely the best for last, best heavyweight from my opinion since Lewis fought Klitschko. Back in 2003, because that fight was more competitive than AJ with the Vladimir Kitschko fight. Definitely four coasted from around, around one to round 12. A fight of the ages, a fight of the year. Classic trilogy, one of the best fights of all time. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. Till next time, I'm off now. You take care. Bye.